Welcome to the video abstract of our paper called The Molecular Mechanism of Transport by the Mitochondria ADP at Vicari, which will appear in cell in January 2019. The Mitochondria ADP at Vicari play a crucial role in eukaryotic cells, but to understand what they do, we first need to explain why ATP is so important. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate, which is called the fuel of the cell. Hydrolysis of ATP into phosphate and ADP drives many energy-requiring processes in the cell, for example, a contraction of a muscle cell, the synthesis of different molecules, or an electric impulse of a nerve cell. All these processes require a constant supply of ATP. We humans need our own body weight in ATP every day to sustain our activities. But there is a problem. We only have 50 grams of ATP in our body and thus we need to remake ATP time and time again in a process called ATP synthesis. Here ADP and phosphate are fused together again to make ATP. In fact, we recycle each ATP molecule 1300 times a day. But where does this happen? For that we need to look more closely at a human cell. Each human cell has to synthesize its own ATP supply. Let's have a look inside to see where that happens. The cell is divided into different compartments. Here is the nucleus where our genetic material DNA is stored and processed. Here is the endoplasmic reticulum where proteins, lipids and other molecules are made and transported. Here is a Golgi apparatus, the post office of the cell. And down here is the mitochondrion, the powerhouse of the cell, where most of the ATP in the cell is made. There are thousands of mitochondria in each cell forming highly dynamic networks. Let's have a closer look at a mitochondrion. It's quite a special organelle as it charges up when food molecules are broken down inside. The mitochondria has two membranes, the outer membrane and the inner membrane, which form structures called cristae. The inside is called the mitochondrial matrix. Enzymes in the cytosol make a little bit of ATP by a process called glycolysis, but the vast majority of ATP is made in mitochondria and the cristae are the main site for ATP synthesis. Let's have a closer look at the tip of one of those. The inner membrane of cristae contain three molecular machines that are important for the synthesis of ATP. The first one is ATP synthase, a large molecular machine that synthesizes ATP from ADP and phosphate by a rotary mechanism. But you also need two transporters. One is called the mitochondria ADP ATP carrier, the subject of our study, and the other is called the phosphate carrier. Both of them belong to the same transporter family. The process of ATP synthesis starts when the spent fuel ADP coming from the rest of the cell binds to the ADP ATP carrier which then changes conformation and transports ADP into the mitochondrial matrix. Similarly, phosphate binds to the phosphate carrier, which then changes conformation and transports phosphate into the mitochondrial matrix. These two molecules then diffuse to a catalytic site of ATP synthase, where a rotation of the central stalk fuses them together to form ATP, which is then expunged from the site by another rotation. The newly synthesized ATP then binds to the ADP ATP carrier, causing a conformational change, leading to ATP being transported out of the mitochondria, where it can then diffuse to the cytosol for another energy requiring process. There were already structures of the cytoplasmic state of the carrier, which is open for binding of ADP coming in from the cytosol. But it did not tell us how this transporter works. In this paper, we present the structure of the carrier in the matrix state, which is open to the mitochondrial matrix for binding of ATP. The structure shows that the same binding site is accessible in both states, which proves that ADP and ATP bind to this site. The structure also shows that there are gates in both states that close access to the other side. Since we have two structures, we can now model the conformational changes that are required for their interconversion. It turns out that the mitochondrial ADP ATP carrier is the most dynamic transporter discovered to date. The conformational changes require six mobile elements, which is a unique feature. There are three gate elements shown in grey that regulate opening and closing of the cytoplasmic site of the carrier. 
and there are three core elements shown in primary colors that regulate opening and closing of the matrix state. In this way, the central substrate binding site is accessible for one or the other side of the inner membrane in an alternating way. The carriers can transport a thousand ATP molecules per second. In this way, they keep us alive every second of our lives for all of our lives. We hope that you will read our paper and we thank you for watching.